Concepts, Values and Wise Advice from the Billy Meyer Contacts Compiled by David Chance Revised October 18, 2023 Fame see also Narcissism Ask its Explanations Part 6 Many festivities are carried out in honor of deceased persons who have some sort of significance. Truly, this is nothing more than a cult surrounding personalities in order to honor them or thereby to promote wealth for a few. Honor should befit the honorable, whereby a memory of them remains preserved. But neither a cult or a business for the acquisition of wealth should ever be made out of that. Contact Report 2 You are embarrassing me, Sim Yase. Everything from you today seems to be just geared towards praise and flattery. I do not love that because it seems primitive to me. So please no more. But I do not want to praise or flatter you as we too have long gone beyond those things. I am only making clear observations that correspond to the facts, just the way you like to make them yourself. Contact Report 36 It is not appropriate, however, that we should give praise to ourselves for all our achievements, only because he, Ari, hunts Jacob, as an earth human assumes that he needs a hymn of praise for his good deeds. He must learn to do the good, the true, and the loving and wise as a matter of course, and not only out of the urge that he be showered with songs of praise for it. If, however, the earth human thinks in such a manner and is only oriented towards the praise that he or she wants to attain, then in every respect he or she strives for one thing or one act only for the sake of praise, but not because he or she has come to the realization that his or her thinking, doing, and acting have become a creational matter, of course, in the consciousness of fulfilling one's duty. If one works only to gain warmth and love from outside one's own personality, then this arises only from an egoistic thought and feeling, if warmth and love are not felt and relayed by the demanding person himself. Contact Report 831 Self-promotion Becoming known and important and presenting oneself in the coming television also takes place. As Fathers Svath's Annals say, through the fact that fame addiction increases in forms that no longer know any limits and is striven for through violence and murder as well as dangerousness and degeneracy in every way. The only important thing is to be publicly known everywhere, as well as to be financially rich in excess or against all order, decency, and morality. The delusion of self-importance and being known. Contact Report 834 Acting greats, rulers or other persons who present themselves stupidly in public as celebrities or become known in some other way, as in this respect also those who attach no importance to their being known, are idiotically simply idolized, sometimes to the point of harassment and disregard for decency, as well as to the point of self-abandonment with regard to one's own freedom the emerging willingness for everything, etc. These human beings regard other persons as idols and consecrate them because they no longer see reality and its truth. Consequently, they regard the idolized one somehow as supernatural. This is a behavior which is usually anchored in a fanaticism over which the human being afflicted by it is unable to exercise any control and respects the admired persons more than himself. Consequently, he is only able to take a deceptive example from them, but he himself becomes incapable of making himself a truly valuable as well as independent human being out of himself. Unfortunately, there are only too many human beings of this kind. One only has to look at the football fanatics, for example, and all sports fanatics in general, who only align and champion their interest and knowledge etc. for their idolized sports stars. But apart from that, neither learn nor develop anything sensible and progressive with regard to self-development and true human beinghood. What they do is to live in the day, to let their life be good, and to destroy the environment, 
because they simply want to have this and that product, because of which the resources of the planet are exploited. Nature, fauna, and flora are more and more destroyed, exterminated, and annihilated. This, while the atmosphere is becoming more and more poisoned and incurable, or very difficult to cure diseases are rampant, such as many types of cancer, etc. In addition, these crazy sports fanatics, as well as the sportsmen themselves, who do not have a decent job, but unconscionably enrich themselves through the fanatics' entrance fees, create offspring en masse, and drive the already overflowing overpopulation ever higher, which generally makes everything bad even worse. Contact Report 863 Among the earthlings, that is to say the human beings of the earth, there are many who are always and with everything in the front line and want to be the biggest and the best. Something that I myself, however, do not want for my person. Many people are infected with movie horniness resp. Film horniness, photo horniness or some other kind of horniness of being seen so that they push themselves into the foreground everywhere, and thus cheat their way to the front, so that they are seen and admired and appear to be important. But that does not suit me, because I want to stay in the background and quietly do my work and not be adored. Unfortunately, this happens all too quickly, both for good and for bad, precisely because human beings are idolized. But I want to say that if a human being does something that helps fellow human beings in some wise, or if, for example, a human being brings something valuable that fellow human beings can learn, and as a result they are better off and understand life better, then he is adored. Or it may simply be that a human being openly teaches reality and truth, or he says what life really is, how it should be good, and led in order to live rightly. And when I thus bring the teaching of truth, teaching of creation energy, teaching of life, then with absolute certainty, those human beings are very grateful when they learn this and can use it for themselves and make their life and existence happy, good and contented, which is after all part of the purpose of the whole. That human beings are then grateful, that is clear and self-evident, but to see something special in me because of this is neither correct, good, nor in any other way appropriate, for as is known today, I did not simply receive the teaching of truth, teaching of creation energy, teaching of life. For every iota of knowledge and ability all the heralds of Nakodemian's teaching have had to work up again and again for nine billion years, corresponding to the respective time, out of their own creation energy within themselves. So I too had to work out the teaching for myself, through hard training and learning according to today's value and understanding just as every other normal human being must also laboriously learn everything himself and keep it in his consciousness for the time of his development for his life. But he can only do this if he keeps on learning and never gives up in this respect. Contact Report 865 Of course I cannot judge what is written here. But the whole thing is obviously about what you mentioned earlier which is that a human being wants to make himself appear great, to be special, to have achieved an extraordinary feat, and to be known, like this man who is mentioned here. Exactly. That is how it is. Because behind everything there is nothing other than a self-glorification and making oneself great, as is also the case with actors and sportsmen and women and many other greats of any kind. Consequently, something is hung on the big bell in order to make it known, and therefore to be able to shine. This is done in such a way that all followers can hear and admire it, instead of them themselves achieving a good performance and feeling happy and satisfied about it. However, instead of a quiet achievement being made and the human being in question being happy and satisfied about it, this is completely absurd and absolutely inconceivable for the majority of human beings. This is proven by the fact that in many sports, there is always a huge influx of inactive, fanatical and howling admirers from the spectators, but none of them is able to achieve a true performance by which they could be happy and satisfied, without being admired and praised by their followers and worshipped like gods.